Okay, back again. Um, ready for a quick part two here um, for the last part of our drawing. Next, we need to choose what type of a background do we want for our drawing um, and kind of add that in. Um, for sake of simplicity, I think I'm just going to make mine, um, I like to go a little past halfway and draw my line across. And then I'm just going to give a pattern to the floor and I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna either put a pattern on the wall and leave the table blank, or I'm gonna put a pattern on the table and leave the wall blank, one or the other. I just prefer that it's not quite so busy to have two different patterns. So I think I'll just do some swirls on my table as a pattern. Of course, you could do checkerboards, zigzags, you could do all sorts of things um, on whichever places that you want to add some interesting pattern. Please add it at least one or the other, the floor or the table, blanket, whatever ends up under your items. I like to make it look like they're kind of going off the page a little bit in some spots. Okay, so this is gonna be my creation. Um, maybe, I don't know, I'm feeling like I wanna add a few little patterns to my bottle. I'm gonna act like it has a label or a wrapping on it. And I'm just gonna add some polka dots for fun. And I'm just gonna add one little band of design here on my bowl, just to give a little something interesting. I like that. Okay, so now I'm ready to trace with my black marker. And that's the end for this week. We will continue on the next week with color. All right, have a great time making your still life drawing.